Hello, everybody, and welcome to another week of Celebrate Wonder. Welcome. Pastor Meredith, welcome. Thank you, Laurie and Laud. Welcome to Celebrate Wonder. I was standing here by my front door. I've been kind of waiting for the mailman to come because I wanted to welcome him especially, and I think he's going to bring me a package. Oh, that's fun. The I kids think. are welcoming me. I don't know if you can hear them or not, but they're welcoming Laud and I. I hear that. That's pretty exciting. You have the geese welcoming you and you have that beautiful welcome sign. And welcome to everybody who's joining with us for Celebrate Wonder today. We're so glad you're here. We want you to know that we are going to be doing the materials from session four count it, session four in your activity kit. So get out all the stuff that says session four on it, four, four, because that's the stuff that we're going to be using today. And it's going to be lots of fun. So we welcome you. So of course, I'm Reverend Meredith Brown. I'm our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. And we have Miss Laurie, who is our director of children and youth ministries, and Laud the Lamb, who is ready to welcome Easter, you can tell with his bunny ears. So we're really excited you're joining with us. We want to encourage you, if you don't have a Celebrate Wonder activity kit, just let us know in the church office and we can coordinate with you to get you one so you have all the materials you need. And um, above all, welcome. Welcome. Do we go to our wonder tables? I think so. I'm actually a little chilly out here right now. So I, I think I'm going to go inside. All right, I'll see you there. Okay. Oh, here we are at our wonder table. Made it back inside. We're, we're much warmer. Now we always start by lighting our candle at our wonder table. So, Laud's favorite part, but he can't light. So we, we make sure to light the candle, not the lamb. Very important. Hmm, but I'm, I'm struggling today with the lighter. Mine worked really easy today. Oh, and it feels a little warm. My hands are cold. So I'm going to, I'm going to warm up my hands around my candle. Be careful if you do this at home, kids. Yeah, be, be careful. No, no s'more making over the uh, candle. No, mm -hmm. no, no. Now, I am so excited about how excited that Laud is about welcoming Easter. But I've explained to him that it's we're we're early. He's a little he's a little early. Yeah, we got a so couple gonna, more. Weeks. We got a couple more yeah. weeks, Lod. You'll have to hang on to those Easter Bunny ears. But we like the energy. <laughs> I know. That's so okay. We'll, 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 we'll take them off for today. You you can. Put them on. He's good. He's Thank you, Lod. That's okay. Our story, our Bible story today, which we hope everybody will. Um, read together. It's all about welcome. Okay, so everybody participating, make sure you read your Bible story in your Bibles from Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. And this is the story of Paul, what we call Palm Sunday. We remember on Palm Sunday where Jesus enters the holy city of Jerusalem and people as he's coming in are so excited to see him that they welcome him by waving palms and shouting, Hosanna, which actually means help us. We need your help, Jesus. And they lay their cloaks and their shirts and cloth on the road so that, so that he can be on those. And he rides a donkey into town, which is to fulfill some scripture from the prophet. And all of this, they greet him like he's a king and welcome him like a king into the city. And they shout, Hosanna in the highest, save us, Lord. And this is uh, the story that starts off Holy Week, and we'll be doing some more things with that next week as well. Um, but that's our Bible story, so we hope that you will read it really carefully together. Um, but it made me wonder, what does it really mean to welcome somebody? What does it look like to welcome somebody? What does it feel like to be welcomed? I was wondering. You know, I think it feels very very nice to be welcomed. I know when we've moved to, to different cities, we've had neighbors who have welcomed us. Sometimes they've brought us food or a dessert or offered to watch our kids while we unpack boxes. 
Oh, those things are so welcoming. Oh, they sure are. I was thinking about being welcomed into a new place. Like when I go to a new church and people welcome me by asking me to join with them and whatever they're doing, which makes me feel really special. Um, when I go to a new place, if somebody does that, I bet some of you know about that too, who are joining us on Celebrate Wonder. Like if you go to a new school or to a new playground and somebody says, hey, come play with me or come slide with me or um, let me, let's do our homework together. That that's really nice and you feel welcome that way. That's pretty awesome. Well, he agreed, a lot agrees. Well, we want you to um, stick around here for these next couple of minutes so you can see our Bible story video, which is gonna be all about this. Um, so let's make sure to do that. But why don't we pray together as we head into our Bible story video? Sound good? Sounds good. Okay, let's pray. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for welcoming us. Thank you for welcoming us. Amen. So Amen. Watch, the, watch the Bible story video. Remember to use the resource that you have for week four that's got wonder questions and you might could use your wonder cube if you want to, to talk about your Bible story. But let's watch the Bible story video right now. Okay. Hey there, I'm Abigail. Wait, can you hear it? The praises from the crowd are growing louder and louder. There are footsteps as more people gather to welcome Jesus and the sounds of kids like us joining in. Do you see it? There are crowds of people surrounding Jesus and palm branches being laid at his feet so that he doesn't touch the ground. There is joy, laughter, wonder, and excitement. This is how Jesus was welcomed into Jerusalem. There was a place prepared for him. This story helps us to remember that Jesus was welcomed with love and joy. What a beautiful way to come into the city. He could have just walked in and been greeted with a quick wave. He could have come and nobody said anything. Instead, he was met with cheers, palms, and a happy crowd. Welcoming is a part of our faith. It makes people feel like they belong. One summer, my mom let me go stay at my grandma's house. My grandma lived on the lake and I was excited to go. When I got there, I was amazed at what I saw. My grandma gave me the biggest hug and told me that she was so happy to have me there. She even decorated her guest room for me. She made the bed with my favorite blanket and made sure that I had extra places to put my things. Then she showed me that her refrigerator was full of snacks that I loved. My grandma didn't have to do all of that but she welcomed me in a special way. She made me feel really loved and celebrated. When we remember the way that Jesus was welcomed, we see how we can welcome people with joy and celebration so that they feel loved. This might not be shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna in a crowd, or even bringing someone into your home for a summer. Welcoming is anything you do to remind people that they belong and you are so happy to see them. We can do that every day. Welcoming people is a beautiful way to show our faith and to remember Jesus. Now, it's time for you to wonder. Okay, it is time for our craft or activity. And it goes along with Palm Sunday. Because we don't have real palms this year, like we usually do in church, we still want to do a palm procession. So, you have, in your bag four, you have some sticks, you have some streamers, and you have some of those little sticky tape things. All you're going to do is take your sticky tape things, and you're going to put them on the stick like that. I'll just do a couple so you guys can see. Kind of space them apart because remember your, your paper is kind of wide. You lose them a little bit. And then those, find the middle and tape them on there. 
And I gave you a couple of sticks so you can make a couple if there's more than one person in your house. To do your own poem procession. It's kind of fun. You could even maybe make a musical instrument to go along with it. And pretend you have a nice green palm. Palm. <laughs> so there you go. We would love to see pictures of your palms, so don't forget. Pictures of your palm procession. Have fun, guys. Hey, grown-ups! it is time for our spiritual practice together for this week, and it is all about welcome. So what I'd like for you to do this week is think of some ways that you can just welcome people. Maybe come up with some special ways to welcome your family when they come home at the end of the day. Maybe uh, make sure to do a, just a great welcome to your neighbors or to your coworkers. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate, but just taking that moment to make sure that you say hello and welcome, and I'm so glad to see you. And then take a moment to think about when you do that, does that change your mood? Does it help others? Does it change their moods as well? What kind of a difference does it make to really welcome people and pay attention to them and make them feel good as they are coming into your presence? So that's our spiritual practice for this week, adults. And I hope that you enjoy that welcoming of others and see how that helps you also then welcome Jesus's presence into your life and God's presence into your life and how that makes a difference for you this week. See you soon. Okay. All right. Lot is very excited about his his palm branch that he, he made. I don't know if you can notice that or not. I'm trying to show you our celebration chart. We have a new celebration chart. We did pretty good this week on, on ours here at our house. Remember to check off the boxes that you um, as you complete them each week. Now we didn't hunt for Easter eggs yet, so that one's blank. But yeah, celebration chart. I like it. I really like this. And we want to remind everybody this week, now that you've got your palm waver ready, to take a picture of you and your palm waver and send it in to Mark Schmidt. And he's going to put his email up here so that we can uh, know where to send those to. You send them in to Mark Schmidt, or you can use the palm branch that we sent you in the mail and you could color that. But we want your picture for our palm parade for online worship this Sunday. So make sure to take a picture, however old, however young you are, and get those sent in by Friday of this week. Um, that's March 26th, so that we can have you a part of our Palm Parade. It'll be so exciting. I see Lod's excited. He's ready to do it. He's very yeah, good. He's ready. Well, we know, um, as we're coming to an end here, that the people were so excited to welcome Jesus when he came into Jerusalem. And so we're going to, as our closing prayer, kind of do a welcome chant together. Um, so I'm going to say a line and you guys, guys say it after me really uh, excitedly, okay? And it'll help us remember, help us remember that we're welcoming Jesus this week and we're welcoming anyone that we meet um, in all of the wonderful ways that makes them feel good. Okay, so let's do it. Say after me, I welcome Jesus. I welcome Jesus. He welcomes me. He welcomes me. We welcome everyone. We welcome everyone. Te Jesus teaches this to me. Jesus teaches this to me. Okay, everybody, make sure you join with us. Here we go, one more time. I welcome Jesus. I welcome Jesus. He welcomes me. He welcomes me. We welcome everyone. We welcome everyone. Jesus teaches this to me. Jesus teaches this to me. Great job. Great job, Miss Laurie and Laud. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't for, forget to wave your palm uh, waver this Sunday for online worship. That's at 1030 on the Facebook page right here. Remember to send in your picture so you can be a part of the Palm Parade. And remember to stick around for a few more minutes to enjoy our song, which is called, I want to make sure that I do the title right, Remember Your Love. So sing along and we'll see you next week. See you next week. Your voice is everywhere. In
Remember your love. Oh, we remember your love.